Clive Mason, Getty Image Arsene Wenger's final home match in charge of Arsenal turned into a fitting celebration on Sunday, as the Gunners easily beat Burnley 5-0 at the Emirates Stadium. Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette gave the team a two-goal lead in the first half, and seed Polish Enoch, Alex Iwabi and Aubameyang added to the advantage after the break. Arsenal were never troubled by a disinterested Burnley side, allowing the celebration centered around Wenger to happen without a hitch. Premier de Secker also made his final appearance at the Emirates Stadium. Here are the key talking points from Sunday's match. Arsenal's goodbye Wenger's final home match in charge of Arsenal was bound to be an emotional affair, and the fans and players put on a show for their longtime manager before kickoff. Arsenal FC at Arsenal Legend Watch live right finger https colon slash slash t dot co slash four key page one. Three of the four goal scorers on Sunday joined the club in the last year. Wenger may have been criticized for some of his transfer choices over the years, but based on this one match, he got things right at the end, leaving the club with a fine parting gift. Obama Young and Lacazette are building something special. Lacazette's Arsenal career seemed to take a massive hit when the Gunners brought in Obama Young in January, just months after splashing the cash on the Frenchman. Both play their best football as classic central forwards, and their playing styles appeared incompatible. Fluent formations are all the rage, however, and Sunday's opener showed the two can play off each other, with Lacazette setting up his teammate. The Gunners' next manager should take note of his attacking duo, Bet 365 at Bet 365 Soccer Ball Obama Young's six goals, three assists in last eight games. Blood Type A Lock is at 7 goals, 1 assist in last 9 games, Smiling Face A partnership is blossoming. HTTPS colon slash slash t.co slash Yegabu one hit play KZ would later add a goal of his own before halftime, and Obama Young doubled his tally to make it 5-0. Don't listen to the fans, stand just minutes into the contest. The Emirates Stadium launched a chant for club legend Patrick Vieira, one of the contenders to take over from Wenger. The independent's Miguel Delaney was one of many who questioned the wisdom of such a move. Miguel Delaney at Miguel Delaney personally think it'd be madness for Arsenal to appoint Vieira. Stan Kroenke, the largest shareholder of the club, should think twice before hiring Vieira. The Senegalese has shown promise at NYCFC but has yet to win anything with the club. His experience in Europe is limited, and he's currently part of the Manchester City family. Vieira has all the makings of a future Arsenal manager, but he needs more experience first preferably in Europe. Arsenal's future is bright young defender Konstantinos Mavropanos was far from perfect on Sunday, but he once again flashed his tantalizing potential. At 20 years old, he's two years younger than Iwobi, who scored his team's fourth goal and could be in line for a major breakout campaign next season. There are a number of top talents waiting for their chance, with Reese Nelson, Christian Bilic, Gideon Zellalem and Jeff Rain Adelaide all regarded as potential stars of the future. Venga's replacement may not have a massive transfer budget to work with because of the lack of UEFA Champions League football, but the club's future looks bright nonetheless. Give Wilshire a new deal and other man who may have made his last appearance at the Emirates Stadium as a member of Arsenal is Jack Wilshire, who still hasn't signed a new contract with the club. The midfielder has been in fine form of late and has been mostly healthy this season, which should play in his favor in negotiations. He added another assist on Sunday in a fine performance that served as a reminder of his quality. Arsenal will face enough turnover in the summer as things stand it would be prudent to keep hold of Wilshire for now, rather than add the search for a dependable midfielder to the list of things to do. What's next? Arsenal visit Leicester City on Wednesday, while Burnley host Bournemouth on Sunday.